Hey everyone, today I have a review of the Base Weekender Travel Bag. Um, this is a relatively new line by Shay Mitchell. And this is, um, I guess, one of her more popular travel bags. It's called the Weekender. And there have been several iterations of this design. I think um, older, the older designs, uh, this was patent and maybe didn't have the feet. But I got this from Nordstrom's about I don't know a few months ago and <laughs> I've already used it a couple times this is the original weekender um, it's fairly large this can be used as a carry-on um, some people can use it as a personal item bag um, honestly I, I don't know how this would fit underneath the airplane seat unless you really just don't stuff it at all so the tags used to come in this really cute reusable um, kind of ID tag and I didn't even notice until recently because I never really kind of looked at this it's a little information card with and this folds out with all the different bags she has um, now again this is the weekender and I'll hold it up real quick I got this from Nordstrom's um, for $88 and actually the price went up I think it's about 98 now um, but she did come out with a mini version recently but what's great about the old tags that they don't make anymore because I've since bought a couple more things and they, they kind of did away with this plastic tag, which is unfortunate because I really like this. Um, but this came with a little, you know, name tag. <laughs> so you could just kind of stick this and put this on your luggage. This has a couple features that are really great that really uh, make this bag stand out. First of all, the bottom part um, zips completely open. And I left some of my things in here just to show what it fits but this um, they kind of market this as a shoe compartment so this whole top part flips open and I left this cardboard here this was part of the packaging and I left it so that it would maintain the shape now obviously if you have it stuff you don't need to keep this cardboard here but I do just so that it doesn't collapse in on itself because what people were complaining about with this bag is once you once this bottom part is empty the bag you know if this is still full it kind of all collapses so I just left this here because it doesn't really take up much room and I in my opinion it protects what's inside so right now I have um, I, first of all let me back up um, I'm on a, another work trip yet again it's relatively local so I actually drove here and because I drove here and I didn't need to fly I took this as my kind of a road trip bag because what I the one thing I would change about this is I wish it had wheels. I, <laughs> I really need a wheeled, um, either a wheeled duffel or a wheeled rolling, you know, a rolling luggage. And so personally for me, I'm, I'm pretty petite. I'm five feet, you know, I mean, I work out, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that strong, I guess. And after an extended period of time, if I'm carrying this on my shoulder or just by hand, the bag itself is already pretty, it's pretty heavy. And so when you have it full, it's, it's just super heavy. So I, I tend not to bring this with me if I'm traveling alone and by plane because it's just hard for me to carry by myself. If I'm just on the road, you know, then it's fine. So I took it on this trip. Um, so anyway, going back to the bottom part. So I do keep this cardboard shaper um, to keep the shape and to protect what's inside. If I, so I normally would keep my shoes here. I have, um, just to show you what's inside. So I have three pairs right now, but you can definitely fit more. This actually fits a ton. I have a pair of my Louboutins. Um, you know, like I said, I, I am on a work trip and so I need business clothes and then also flats. I have another pair, a pair of Chanel flats. So just to save space, I keep these all here. And then I have another pair of flats. So, I, so right now I have about four pairs of shoes. So there's two in here, three, four, and there's still plenty of room. In fact, if you sh kind of shove this all along, this are flats here. Um, I don't know if you shove this here, you could fit probably another one or two pairs and then maybe another pair of flats up here and there's still plenty of room. <laughs> this is also the base cosmetic case and um, this also fits just super conveniently in here and then it's great. It's a perfect size. So even with the cardboard, it, it fits pretty snug and then this just zips all the way around. And so this is all separate from the rest of the bag. Oh, it has these shoulder straps that are pretty comfortable. This, I think it's a vegan leather. Um, it's, it's flat. It's not, um, they changed the strap around. I think the last, the first time I saw this, 
the shoulder straps were flat all the way around. So these are kind of doubled over. So it's not too bad. It's pretty comfortable still. And then there's a shoulder strap that attaches to these D-rings right here on these two D-rings. So the shoulder strap attaches here and it's just kind of a standard shoulder strap. Um, it doesn't have a pad or anything, so it does get pretty heavy when you're carrying it. And um, it's, you know, it's not super comfortable, but uh, it's not too bad. There is a zip outside pocket that's perfect for your phone. You can keep that in there. And then it has the logo right there, base. And then on the back, so what's great about this is this is the trolley sleeve, the trolley uh, pass-through, so this can rest on top of a rolling luggage. And then if you don't have a rolling luggage, you can actually zip this closed right here. And this turns into another just, just slip pocket um, for, I wouldn't put a phone in here, but maybe, you know, I don't know, a book or something <laughs> in there. These are attached, um, it's pretty secure. It has these two rivets on each little leather tab. And what I also love about this is the opening is very wide. So it opens up kind of like a doctor bag. You can see it zips all the way around here. And then this just opens really wide up like that. So I don't have anything in it right now, but you can see it's just really roomy inside. Uh, there's a laptop, a padded laptop sleeve up here. This is also great. <laughs> this is a key keeper. It has a lobster clasp so that you can just attach your keys and then you'll never lose them. They'll just always be here and then it kind of just tucks away. There's a laptop sleeve and then this has a Velcro strap to keep it in there. And then there's another zip. There's a zip pocket here. That's, it runs almost the whole length of the bag and it's pretty roomy. It goes to about, about here on the bottom. So the zip pocket in the inside, it's, it zips all the way down here. And then there's two more slip pockets here. And this whole in interior is just a really nice wipeable nylon. So I'll show you real quick what fits inside. So I have my laptop and this is a, this is a pretty big uh, 15 inch laptop. This slips right in here securely. Put my six key ring holder right here to attach and then you can either let it dangle or I like to kind of keep it in there with the laptop uh, pocket and then what's great about this is um, and I'll go deeper into what's in my bag and how to pack I pack everything in packing cubes so this is my biggest one this is my um, work outfit so my work dresses it's pretty big and I'll keep that in here So that fits right on the bottom. And then I have my more comfortable, casual clothes right up here. And then I have my toiletries. This is also a base travel case. Um, this came with um, travel straps, <laughs> but I use this for my toiletries. And this is a, a great uh, carry-on size because it fits under the 311 rule. So this just fits on the side here. And I'll show you what it looks like when you zip the whole thing. So you can see it's pretty full. And then what's great is this just kind of collapses. <laughs> Zips closed. So you can see it's pretty full. And this fits my four day, pretty much my four day work trip or three day work trip that I'm on right now. So I have all my shoes, my flats, plenty of changes of clothes inside my toiletries, my work laptop. And so like I said, this all fits. Um, but again, the downside is that it's really heavy. <laughs> and so for me, this isn't practical for uh, plane travel. But when I'm just going from my car to the hotel, um, you know, to my work conference, you know, um, I, can, I can handle carrying this on my own but this is the base weekender bag. And um, she did come out with a mini weekender convertible bag. And what is great about that is the bottom part completely zips 
off. <laughs> so you can completely remove this bottom part and then carry this as, as, as your just a tote bag on its own, so it's, and it's smaller. And then overall, I think the bag is smaller. Yeah, and there are more colors coming out also. So yeah, I think, I think it is a great bag, but just, um, just manage your expectations. I don't think that this could be used as a uh, personal item bag on a plane. And if you use this as your overhead carry-on bag on a plane, just be wary that it gets pretty heavy. Um, so, you know, just be careful not to overpack it because it does get pretty heavy. So that's the base weekender bag. I have several items from base and I plan to post more reviews. So if you're interested, um, subscribe and I hope you enjoy and hope you have a great day. Bye.